Next on the list here, to quickly finish all this DJ stuff, I wanted to mention this clip also that I thought was quite hilarious because I saw some people in the comments complaining. So, Jackmaster was recently playing at another place in Italy. Um, Italy seems to be a really booming place for these guys that are like tech house adjacent. They seem to be getting booked left, right and center. And for whatever reason, there's like, it's not even like um, the main cities or what you deem to be the main cities, but it looks like you know, tech house, techno housey housey clubs exist all over Italy, like in far-flung places, which is pretty cool. So you get to touch the fans in every single place and not just big major markets, which is cool because I guess it keeps you booked and busy. But one thing I noticed, um, all these guys usually play the same old stuff. It's kind of like, you know, they're basically like the the sons and daughters of Marco Carolla, that type of minimal, you know, tech housey type of deep housey type of sound. But it's all really normal. It's all kind of the same. It all just sounds quite monotonous. It's all very lacking in groove, lacking in bounce, lacking in creativity, ingenuity, depth, range. It's just all really crappy and basic, in my opinion. At least this Jackmaster set, from what I heard, is a little bit interesting. Like, he even starts and intros it very interesting, more so than whatever you'd hear played on a Luca D channel. So, this is a clip taken from Luca D's channel, Jackmaster DJ set at a place called Il Muereto Gisolo in Venice, Italy, on the 18th of February of this year um, at a Pyramid Ibiza party. And I thought this is a pretty good set. And I think some of the things that he was doing on the, on the mixer in terms of cutting in and out songs and adding effects and looping and just really being, you know, um, somewhat performative in his style of mixing on stage was a little bit more refreshing than what you see the normal tech house DJs do. Where they just mix and blend out of one, tra out of one track out of the other. And it just sounds like you're listening to a mix at home or something. At least he's trying to perform and give them a show. And I feel like the songs and the tunes and the rhythm is really bouncy, really groovy. And just, you know, I'd be skanking at this all day long, but for some reason people in the comments didn't like this. Let's play the clip anyway. I love shit like that. That's very rock starish. It kind of gives me a little bit of a Ricardo Villalobos feel, a little bit of a DJ Harvey feel, where you're actually performing and being somewhat, um, what do you think, somewhat tactical, tactile with your mixing style. Even someone like a Devious One is also a good example of it, where you're really kind of being, you know, you're really giving the mixer a little bit of love in. Um, you know, Helena Health does the same sort of thing. And I think it kind of adds to the overall performance, especially if you're performing gigs live and you're playing the same thing again and again. That's kind of gives, gonna gives you a bit of a spark and also make the show fun for the people that are coming to watch but the comments was uh, weren't agreeing if we just scroll down here someone in the comments says what does it say here um that set looks all over the place trying to be too fancy with effects and just seems off his head the part where he's playing ricardo villobos as dexter looks like it brought the vibe right down so i guess some people d don't actually like the whole standing there and just blending one song into the other and being kind of boring they don't actually want it to be funky and a bit off kilter you know sometimes when you're mixing with vinyl sometimes you have these moments where you don't really beat match it properly it kind of falls out of sync and stuff you don't get the bpms right um just the flow of it it's not good whatever it may be or just tune skips but i think that kind of adds some level some texture and some flavor to the performance it actually makes it quite interesting because the djs or performer has to kind of you know inch kind of improvise live on the moment and try and figure stuff out but some reason some people don't like like it. Another person here says, this set is so whack, just trying to be cool with the effects and music cuts just don't sound right. Oh, I don't know. If that's me and I'm in the zone and I'm off my head, I think that sounds absolutely perfect to me. But hey, maybe I'm in the minority. Let's play a little bit more of this. <laughs> Ooh. 
That's good, come on. People are hating, man. People are hating. Jack Master's flipping hard. I'm sorry. Maybe because I'm used to this sort of style of playing from, you know, being in the UK or the British Isles and whatnot. I know he's Scottish, but still, um, this is how people play here. It's multi-genre. You, you know, you're flipping tracks in and out. You're changing channel, just spinning back, adding effects. You're adding to it because usually everyone's, for the most part, you know, a lot of people out there, DJ, you know, in their spare time at home and some people are just music and fishing others so a lot of people have listening to the same songs they've got the songs on their you know on their mp3 they listen to them while they're at work and whatnot they know what they sound like but sometimes if you kind of play them in different interesting ways it actually adds to the performance it gives those songs and those tunes that we all know and love a little bit more you know a little bit more oomph i don't think that's a bad thing but for some reason people just want to see a poor performance so i guess that maybe explains why everyone kind of plays the same because that's what the crowd kind of wants if judging by the comments is to be true but yeah big up jack muscle regardless i think he's smashing it it's good to see him back out there you know mixing and doing what he does best especially after you know all the past controversies and whatnot he's kind of got that behind him which is nice to see and he's definitely one of my favorite i would say of the kind of quote-unquote commercial type people the ones that are really really big i think he's definitely one of the few that's kind of still at the top level even someone like a Seth Truxler who I'm a big fan of I think he's kind of dropped off a little bit and isn't as good as he once was Jamie Jones is basically the same thing I think you know personally he's kind of lost a bit of the spark or the hunger or the love he maybe once had which is understandable because those guys you know were really going crazy at their peak I mean performing all the time a million dates it can maybe kind of you know run you down but I feel like Jack Master maybe that you know that time out of the scene for a bit kind of gave him time to recharge and get back on his ones and twos but he sounded better than he has been before so um great to see him out there again performing and doing what he does best because he's definitely one of the more better ones out there in the scene that has to be said 